Hello, and welcome. My name is Kevin. This is Do for Boots. We're here in CK3 once more with you all with our Love Not War campaign. Hope you all are doing well. I'm just okay. Last time, we killed a lot of people to take over the Castilian throne. Then we had our mother, uh, she met the big end uh, one way or another through stress. I think that was it. Uh, and now we are working our ways to finishing the struggle I've been in struggle with the Detene. Uh, we're still missing two out of the ten alliances, and we need to become exalted among men. Our one main rule to live by again is that in Iberia, we cannot do any sort of expansion with war decks. Uh, we can expand through marriage and murder and any other method that we seem fit, but no swords can be lifted in offensive conflicts. But outside of that, still fair game. It looks like, unfortunately, Navarra still exists, though. That is, that's kind of unfortunate, but we still, we consolidated all the other kingdoms. So if we did somehow have any sort of partition issues, I think we, we would just be, uh, just a okay. If neighbors want to be vassalized, this gentleman wants to be vassalized. And so does this gentleman. Oh, wow. That's, that's most def going to offer that vassalization. Oh, I can just keep vassalizing these guys. I think we've done, we've done a oopsie doopsie though. I've probably gone over because I am 70%. Yep, that's that's what I thought. But can I just go like this and say, grant independence? Yeah, sure. So that just means we have to just get exalted. And I think the best way to do that is to... Let's offer vassalization to him. And then when the next guy comes around, we can, we can do something silly. Let's go and start off our first ever of this campaign. I think a little bit of a chain war. Let's just go quick little bada bing bada boom troops to defend this and then send this army over here. People would be like, that's tyrannical. And I'd be like, I don't care. What happens? You gain unlocks uh, creation of empire. All involved cultures gain 50 acceptance permanently allows interfaith marriage between all involved cultures um, permanently disables offensive between all involved cultures permanently allows involved cultures and faiths to join each other's defensive against outside invaders of iberia so we're making essentially a giant um iberia pact so it'd be good to have a another ally in theory my hopes have been dashed upon the rocks can we offer him vassalization He'll say yes. Will these guys say yes? That's my hope, is that they then say, oh, sure, he seems like a cool guy. Yes. This chain war is taking too long, too darn long uh, for my liking. Go here, go for Grand Vassal. So we just fix the situation without having to do very much. So when we get out, we're going to grant freedom to this one, this one, and that should pretty much be good for us. Uh, we'll see. France, could you chill for like a second can we arrange a marriage between ourselves how are you getting just consistently bigger that's what i'm concerned mostly about that you just keep getting bigger and bigger i love how i had two lives essentially i had my first life where i had all these children and then my second life where i've had all these ones we are now an exalted gentleman um and for us to do detene, we need to lose some of the the weight that we've gained and then our house gets different cultures plus this different faiths plus that learning languages yeah and the iberian struggle too long the iberian people have suffered at the hands of their moorish invaders today we will restore the hopes of the rightful heirs of rome lost centuries ago a sworn guaranteed uh a protection which only am i'm now in possession to enforce will ensure Verse peoples of this region may live and worship freely. Allah will willing the wars of the past will remain there and others will be done. Send the heralds. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I was mostly waiting for that to come through. So now that we have that done, can we offer vassalization? No. Recently granted independence. Um, can we vassalize this dude? So we can go ahead and probably just vassalize a bunch of these people. I murder my brother. And then get that land back that way we can do something all right let's just work on maybe doing some uh, this one well let's look at the ones oh they're already gone hmm we were, would have to have done it while they were there huh so while the iberian 
struggle is happening. That needs to happen. So we just cleared out a whole one. That was pretty crazy too. Because after this is done, let's. I think we need to unite the still unite the family or the family <laughs> unite the lands. Um, can we actually start converting this land? Yes, it looks like we can start finally converting this land. Because I kind of want to bring Francia down to a peg. I think that's what our next, our next big thing will be, is that we, right? That makes sense. Like, taking out the Capet family and just owning, trying to take over that land. Should we continue with the same rules of not trying to do it forcefully? I don't know. I guess we could swear fealty and do religious right protections and stuff like that and then burn france from the inside out empire buster for the rest of this campaign love not war he's like wow i love being your vassal great i mean uh house banner was destroyed it sucks that we don't have a banner just like it's weird that the game never allowed us to have that there we go now we can bruce family gets control of the mediterranean for 80 years uh unlocks the Allowing you to conquer any county along the shores of the Mediterranean for duration, the house modifier while you control the kingdom. Follow your. What is that? Nobody can oppose us now. So now we're getting that more house buffs. Um, strong blood. And then we have this one for some time. And this one's forever. Interesting. So does that mean we can just go like. Declare it's only one at a time. Ooh, that's that's rough. So if we swear fealty to this dude, is this insanity? Probably. Probably some a bit of insanity. I think for now that's where we'll just call it for today. I think we've met the criteria of this campaign. Uh it was a quick one. If you would like to see this continued on where we start becoming like an empire buster, where we just pop hop in and make those different um uh disillusion we can just jump in and start making disillusion factions all over the place um that might be smart to do it that way we're on kind of a precipice of either stopping the campaign right here and just saying good job we accomplished what we needed to do here or we can continue on and i think move towards a kind of an empire busting disillusion campaign where we kind of blow up all the empires in the world uh which are i think there's only two currently we have france and the byzantines unless one of these boys is empire tier we got france and we got the uh byzantine empire so for now thank you so much for watching as always i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to comment like and subscribe and have a good rest of your day please ciao